Soul City. You're tuning in to CCN Broadcast Center, a virtual home for VSU and CCC where passion is key. Learning paves the way. With our revision mantra, developing creativity, maximizing versatility. This is your CCN Broadcast Center. Good day, learners. Welcome to another fun and film episode of LS2. Scientific and Critical Thinking Skill here at Carlos and Carlin Network. I'm Teacher Grace at your service. Before we start our lesson, please take note of the following reminders. First, prepare your pen and paper. Second, you should have your self-learning module in LS2 Junior High School. Remember, if you ever miss a part of the live session, you can visit YouTube and search for Carlos and Carlin Network to review and download this live session. Our today's lesson is all about Quarter 3, Week 3, Ecological Relationship in an Ecosystem. But before that, let me share to you our learning objectives. At the end of the lesson, you should be able to describe the different ecological relationship found in an ecosystem. Consider the following question and try to answer. You only have 5 seconds to answer each question. The big question is, are you ready? Yes! I know that you are ready. The purpose of this test is to figure out what you have already know so that I can gauge what you learn at the end of the lesson. Direction, choose the correct answer. For question number one, the symbiotic relationship when both organisms benefit from one another is called, is it letter A, commensalism, is it letter B, mutualism, or C, competition, or D, parasitism? You only have 5 seconds to answer. Time start now. Okay, if your answer is letter B, then you are correct. Next, for question number two, it is the interaction between the two species. Letter A, predation. Letter B, mutualism. Or letter C, competition. Or letter D, symbiosis. You have five seconds to answer. Time start now. So, if your answer is letter D, symbiosis, you are correct. For question number three, the symbiotic relationship when one organism benefits while the other is harmed is called, is it letter A, commensalism, or letter B, mutualism, or letter C, competition, or letter D, parasitism. You have five seconds to answer. So, the answer is letter D, parasitism. Let's move to question number four. What type of relationship do flower and butterfly have? Is it letter A, commensalism? Letter B, mutualism, or letter C, competition, or letter D, parasitism. You, also, uh, you, all, you have five seconds to answer. What is your answer? Yes, 
It is letter B, mutualism. For question number 5, the symbiotic relationship when one organism benefits while other is unaffected is called blank. Is it letter A, commensalism, letter B, mutualism, or letter C, competition, and the last one, letter D, parasitism? You have 5 seconds to answer. Time start now. And the right answer is letter A. It is, it is commensalism. I know that some of you here got five. But don't worry for those who get below five. Uh, we have, uh, you have more time to review the lesson. So I have a question here. Are you in a relationship? Is it mutual? Is it one-sided or relationship with your friends or family? So relationship is, when we say relationship, it doesn't only pertain to your relationship with the opposite sex. Okay? It also means relationship with your family, friends, and neighbors. Did you know that family is the basic unit structure of our society? Okay, that's right. Why do we need to interact with others? Or why do we make relationship with others? Okay, it's because we need to interact or make, or make relationship with others to fulfill our needs. Okay, because no one is an island. Correct. We need others because we cannot live alone. And it is true that no one is an island. Have you ever thought of your own relationships? If you live with your family, describe your relationship with your father and mother. Think of the kind of relationship you have with your brothers and sisters. Some of this relationship may be beneficial to you. You may enjoy having this relationship because they provide you with things you need. But have you ever noticed that some of these relationships are not exactly the ones you like to have? A relationship with a brother or sister with whom you often fight is an example. Why do you think you need these relationships? How does each relationship benefit you? Fill out the following table. Okay, we have activity number one here. So you are going to, under the benefits column, think of the benefits you get from each member of your family. This could be material like money or intangible like love, cooperation, and support. In the next column, write the disadvantage associated with the family member. For example, your elder sister might not allow you to go out with your friends to watch a movie. Under the assessment column, write favorable or unfavorable depending on how you view your relationship with the person concerned, okay? For example, in this activity number one, for example, my father's name is Andres. So the benefits that I get from my father is security, okay? The disadvantage of it, uh, he's so strict. So what is my assessment? Unfavorable. What about my mother? My mother's name is Miles, so what benefits I get from my mother? Oh, it, it is love. What about this advantage? Okay, my mother's is easy, uh, easy to talk to. Okay, so what is my assessment? Favorable. Okay, so here uh, you are going to write uh, all your family members. Okay, then you need to assess. Or what can you say about your relationship with each member of your family? 
What can you do to make unfavorable relation relationships turn into favorable relationships? Okay? So before we proceed to the different ecological relationships in an ecosystem, let us first define... Okay, here, uh, there's an additional activity. You should write an essay about your relationship with your family. Okay? After that, let's define an ecosystem. Okay, what is an ecosystem? Okay, it is a community or group of living organisms that live in and interact with each other in a specific environment. Okay? So, what is an ecological relationship in an ecosystem? Okay, here. The meaning of ecological relationship, it is the relationship between organism in an ecosystem. Here, all organisms are connected to each other. Organisms form relationship with each other because they are connected. Some organisms compete each other for resources or space while others depend on each other for survival. Okay, all right. We have the different ecological relationships. Okay, here I have pictures of animals in the ecosystem. What can you see in the picture? Comment your answer in the chat box below. Okay, if your answer is the tiger is eating the deer, okay, you are correct. Okay, what do you think is the ecological relationship of the tiger and the deer? Okay, here it shows predation. Why? Okay, because uh, the one is killed by another stronger animals. Okay, so here what do you call an organism that is eaten by another organism? Okay. So, what do you call? It is prey. Okay? What about... How about the organism that eats the prey? We call them predator. What do you call an organism that is eaten by another organism? Is it prey? Okay? Okay. Predation when an organism eats or kills another organism. The one who benefits is called the predator. And the one used for food is the prey. Okay? I have another examples of predation. Okay? So which of the animals shown are predators? What do you think? Okay. It is the bear. It is the bear. An eagle. Okay. Which of the animal shows are prey? Okay. It is the fish. Okay. Now look at this picture. Okay. Bees need flower for their food, the nectar. Flowers in turn need bees for fertilization. Because bees spread the flower seeds. Okay? The picture shows mutualism. What do you think is mutualism? Okay? Mutualism, it is characterized by two organisms living together and both benefiting from the relationship. Okay? Here, 
I have another picture here. Okay? Why do you think these pictures are, con are considered mutualism? Okay? Because birds are all in impalas back to eat the ticks. Ticks are parasites. Therefore, they both benefit each other. Okay? Now, look at this picture. It shows what? It shows parasitism. The mosquito benefits from the human and the human is harmed by the mosquito. So, what is parasitism? Okay. Parasitism, it is the relation in one organism benefits and the other organism is harmed, but not always killed. Okay. So, we have a picture here. Okay. What do you call an organism that depends on other organism? Okay. What is your answer? Okay. If your answer is parasite, you are correct. Okay. Parasite is an organism that depends on the host for its survival. Okay. What about this? How about the other organism that is hard? Okay, we call them host. Okay, the host is the organism that loses something because of the presence of parasites. Okay, next. Did you know that? Okay, dengue is caused by Aedes aegypti mosquito, the pig biting are early in the morning and the evening before dusk. Okay, so here are on how you are going to protect yourself and your family from dengue fever. First, prevent mosquito habitats. Second, keep your doors and windows closed as much as possible or invest in insect screens. The third, protect your skin from mosquito bites. And fourth, avoid visiting areas prone to mosquitoes. And last, be vigilant. Okay. So, I have another example here. Okay. What is, what is it? The parasite is the lice. And the host is the human. Okay. So, there's another example. Okay. The parasite is the worm. And the host is the human. Okay. Why do you, in this picture, okay, why do you think the pilot fish is underneath the shark? Okay, so what's the answer? When the shark eats something, the pilot fish is the scrap pieces of the shark. Okay, so we call this what? Okay, it is commensalism. Okay, so what is commensalism? This is a kind of relationship where one of the partners benefits while the other is help, uh, neither help nor harm. Okay? So we have an example here. Okay? So the tree provides a stable environment to our kid. The tree is neither harmed or benefited. Okay? Another example. Okay, in the first picture, there are birds in the tree. The tree is the shelter for birds. However, the tree is not getting anything in return. Okay, so in the second picture, we can see the shrimp hiding in the corals. So the shrimp hides in the coral in order predators can see. However, coral is not getting anything in return. Okay, so now, look at this picture. It shows what? It shows competition. The two squirrel is fighting for what? For food. Okay, what is competition? Okay, it is when organisms compete for the same resource. So what are those same resources? Oh, it's either food or space. Okay. Next. Okay, another example. Okay. We have 
the birds are competing for a worm. Okay. And that worm serves as their food. Okay. So, always remember, if there's no competition, there is no progress. Okay. Let's try this activity. Okay. So, what you are going to do is identify what ecological relationship in each sentence. Okay. We have question number one. Okay. Here, you only have five seconds to answer each question. Okay. For question number one, a tick feeding on a horse is a good example of what? Okay. You only have five seconds to answer. Okay, what is your answer? If your answer is parasitism, then you are correct. Let's move to question number two. It is the ecological relationship between the blackbirds and the caterpillar. Okay, you have five seconds to answer. Okay. The answer is predation. Okay. For question number three, hundreds of soil insects were burrowing in and out of the soil, posing to feed on dead plants' leaves. So, okay. You have five seconds to answer. Okay. And the answer is competition. Okay. So for question number four, an orchid, an orchid on a tree. Okay. On then the answer is commensalism. For question number five, a crab covered by Moses. Okay. What will be your What will be your answer? The right answer is mutualism. Okay? So, we have a generalization here. Okay? You are going to answer these four questions. Okay? So, I'll give you 10 seconds to answer these four questions. Okay? So, time start now. Okay, for question number one, the answer is symbiosis is when two different kinds of organisms live close to each other. Okay, the different ecological relationship is classified into predation, parasitism, commensalism, mutualism, and competition. This relationship range from mutually beneficial to harmful or even fatal for one of the species, okay? For answer in question number three, there will be ecological balance, okay? For question number five, the answer is ecological relationships are important because it displays the movement of energy in the ecosystem. Okay, let us remember that the different ecological relationship can be characterized as any of the following. Predation, one kills the other for food. Parasitism, one benefits at the expense of the other. And number three, commensalism, one benefits the other is not affected. And for number four, mutualism, both organisms benefit from the relationship. And the last one, competition. It is when organisms compete for the same resource. Is it, either, is it either food or space? Okay. Let's also remember that individual organisms live together in an ecosystem, depend on one another. In fact, they have many different types of interaction with each other. And many of these interactions are critical for other survival. 
Okay, let's see what you have learned. Okay. Write in the block the correct relationship between the two organisms. Okay, here you have um, 15 seconds to answer. For question number one, you have hope and snake. Number two, lizard and mosquito. Number three, birds and flowers. Number four, mosquitoes and humans. And number five, amoeba and humans. Okay. Let's move to question number six to ten. Relationship between carabao and heron, number six. For question number seven, birds and trees. Number eight, fish and worms. And number nine, snake and chicken. And number ten, mice and dogs. You also have here 15 seconds to answer. Okay, are you done? If you're done, let's start answering this exercise. Okay, after answering this exercise, check your answer against the answer key. Here is the answer key. Okay. Are you done and are, are you done checking? Okay, if you're done, okay, let's see what's, uh, what your score is, okay? If your score is 7 and above, well done. You learned a lot from this lesson. You may proceed to the next lesson. If your score is 6 or below, it's okay. You can go back to this video and review the lesson again. For your assignment, make a 30-second video about five ecological relationships. Post it in your social media account and tag to your house teacher. Okay, what are those social media? It's either in your Facebook, Instagram, Instagram or TikTok. Okay, tandaan, sa house, matututo ka. Tara na! Thank you for listening. Bye! Thank you, Bob. Hello, Region 1. Aloha, Sakarian learners. Airing live from the Nanu, the blue capital of the Philippines, and Kalo City. You're tuning in to CCN Broadcast Center, a virtual home for every SEO SEC learner, where passion is the key. Learning paves the way. With our division mantra, developing creativity, maximizing versatility. This is your CCN Broadcast Center. CCN Broadcast Center. A virtual home of every SEO SEC learner.